everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then my name is Miriam, Plant Power Baby, and I basically do videos about veganism, raising my vegan daughter, and now I start to also make videos about minimalism and zero waste. So today will be my kind of like official first day of doing zero waste videos because that's something I'm interested in, that's something I'm trying to apply in my life. So this video is about my day in life doing zero waste, but bless you <laughs> bless you so today's video is basically my day in life doing zero waste as a beginner and let me tell you <laughs> and let me tell you i am not perfect i'm just beginning so i do little bits but obviously not everything because to me it's like whole new level of life changes so i have to go slow and if you're one of those people who wants to do zero waste just go slow because i believe zero waste is not about just being the perfect person but about trying your best to be better sustainable and doing different things in life to reduce waste basically so yeah let's just jump straight into this video then so right now we are just eating some breakfast i have my bowl here and arella's just sitting here i try to eat as many meals together as possible and every time i talk arella's like i want to talk too do you want to say something do you want to say hello hello but anyway, we're just eating our breakfast now. That's the kind of first thing I do in the morning and having some green tea in this Father's Day cup in Polish. Uh, my green tea is just inside. Yes, I have a lot to do with my zero waste because look, I'm still using normal bags. But that is because it's actually my mom's tea and she gave it to me. And I decided that from now on, if I do buy tea, it will be zero waste. So we'll see how that goes. Mmm, yum! Mmm, yeah, yeah. cheers! Mmm! So I realized just having some time on my laptop watching some videos and meanwhile I actually have to clean my kitchen and show you my kitchen tool and what I already have zero waste and what I need to change and just general things like this. So first of all I would like to say that I have this spray here in a plastic bottle however this bottle is so so old i got it from my mom and inside there's actually zero waste diy like a house cleaning spray and basically i made it myself and i used orange peels and vinegar and it was basically just marinating or whatever i should say just left it there for a month and then you get this like amazing spray i'm not gonna lie to you it doesn't smell the best but it's really good like it cleans everything i use it for like at the minute everything to clean anything really good spray and i already have more jars being made right now i will show you in a second so now i'm in my messy 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 kitchen as you can see where i'm going to wash my dishes and i dry everything on like a material cloth if i have any leftover food or anything like that that i don't want to use i have this like a small composting bin just here it's not really a bin it's just a plastic um, container again from my mom but it's a perfect way to just whatever food I have just throw it in there I have this old cardboard milk box that I will use for my plants as a plant pot this is where all the fun is it's my food storage and as you can see everything is kept in jars I reuse my jars for anything small little jars like this I reuse as cups if I have any guests. This pile right here is zero waste pile. So basically, like I was showing you a second ago, this is how I make my sprays. It's just orange peels and I just put some vinegar in there. And then right next to it, I have my banana skins mixed with water. And this is a great like nutrients water for plants. So once a week, I will use this and water my plants with that gives them like really good nutrients and stuff like that. Another really cool thing that I do is I actually grow my veggies, of course. This should be your zero waste motive, main motive, to reuse as many veggies as possible, especially when you can grow them. These are my spring onions and they are actually really old. They are five months old. I've been constantly growing them and using them. They grow really fast. I saved up a lot of money on spring onions. These are in plastic containers that I reuse after like mushrooms and fruits and veggies so that's pretty cool also I'm growing a new batch of spring onions because 
I need new ones and I'm also trying to multiply my basil just here I keep mint here and by the way if you put it into water it's going to remain its freshness and I'm trying to grow new celery right here but if you didn't know I also have a balcony where I grow a lot of veggies from scraps and stuff like that and I already have a video about that the tour of my garden on my balcony so I will link it down below if you want to go check it out it's really cool so there's one thing that I won't be able to do regarding zero waste and that is selling my t-shirts and this is one of the t-shirts I am representing here in this video and what I do I actually sell vegan t-shirts with vegan things to raise awareness about veganism and these t-shirts are not zero waste but I am trying to be as sustainable with those as possible getting like cotton t-shirts and making sure my ink is water-based and it's vegan and stuff like that but I think in this kind of case I rather just represent veganism and spread awareness rather than concentrate on zero waste but yeah I do have a lot of different t-shirts as well these t-shirts are a little bit different than here I will post some pictures right here right now I also have some other t-shirts as well I'm gonna post the pictures here right now so you can have a look everything is available on Etsy and in the future I will be making more things so I'm planning to make already more t-shirts and also move on to cotton bags so that is really exciting so yeah just wanted to share this information out there Arella you being cutie so now I'm in Arella's room and this is the time where we play a little bit in her room she has a lot of toys here she recently got some presents too from her daddy who's living in Australia what is the problem? say hello Arella, Arella hello hi 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 and in the future I'll definitely make like a video how I try to apply zero waste for my baby but today that's not the video really be doing this in your room but it's cold outside Arella. yeah that's your name Arella it's Arella yeah what's your name name, name? Arella say Arella I wonder if you can actually get bubbles <laughs> and like wooden wooden or aluminium la, or la, 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 rubber la, la. container I have never seen that before. This is really cool toy. She literally just got it yesterday. And she's been playing with it. She doesn't understand a lot of it, how it works. But what I love about this is so colourful. And it's made from wood. So that is absolutely perfect. She also has a lot of other toys. A lot of them are plastic, but these are second hand. I literally bought recently. She has this like wooden kitchen. She has a wooden ice cream truck and a lot of clothes are either from family members or are second hand also so i'm currently in my bathroom and i'm just going to wash my teeth you know like wash my face and stuff like that basically get myself ready uh excuse me what is this so i currently use this bamboo toothbrush i recently bought it in like one of the shops and i also use soap rather than bottled soap and I also have this tray. It's a bamboo tray from Primark. Actually, Primark, if you live in England, is a super cool shop for zero waste products because they have like a nice health section in some of the Primarks around the UK. But unfortunately, I still use normal toothpaste. Actually, I have already made zero waste DIY toothpaste myself, but it wasn't really good. So I need to find some time with all this happening to find some new recipes to actually make my own toothpaste again but for now this is my zero waste section and not so zero waste section and the last thing that i actually wanted to show you today is my compost bin which is on my balcony and everything that i cannot kind of reuse that is food i try to compost it i'm still a beginner in composting i still don't really know what i'm doing i just read a bunch of information online and trying to do it myself so here is my composting bin and it is made out of this like weird material i don't even know what it is and it's a perfect sized bin and i have my compost here 
being made um, there's a lot of flies here because I have a lot of food here and leaves and cardboard and all kind of stuff and my routine is to every day just kind of mix it together blah 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 and in the future I'll be showing you more about this bin so yeah that is basically the end of this video so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this little day in life of zero waste mom i guess and i hope to see you soon don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now more videos will be coming soon like this video and follow me on instagram and obviously don't forget to check out my etsy have a look at my t-shirts so yeah see ya <laughs>